Spring is right around the corner, and right now the world is a gray, muddy place. But soon it's going to be filled with lots of colors and flowers. And for the past several years, I have always wanted a macro lens that could help me capture the beauty of spring. So the first place I went to for a good recommendation was the Facebook page for the Sony a7C group. And some of the recommendations they gave me were, well, nope, too expensive. Nope, too expensive. Nope, too expensive. I knew right away that what I was looking for was a budget-friendly macro lens to help a beginner get into macro photography. And that's when I found the TT Artisan 40mm f2.8 lens. Is it really a great beginner budget-friendly macro lens? Well, let's find out. Macro photography allows you to get very close to an object. So if I took something like this Lego race car driver that's really small and I wanted to get close to it, I would need a macro lens because if I used something like my Young Nuo 85 millimeter lens, I would only be able to get about two and a half feet close to it. And as you can see, it really isn't that close and a lot of the frame doesn't even have the object in it. Then if I switch my Sony 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, I can then get to about a foot and a half close to my object, but still the object is not filling the frame and the details aren't the greatest. But if I put on the TT Artisan 40 millimeter F2.8, I can now get as close as six inches to my object. My object is literally going to fill the frame and look at the race car driver. You can see dust on them, you can see scratches, and you can see all the details that you get with a macro lens. This lens has a one-to-one -one focus, meaning the object you are filming will be the same size as it is on the sensor. That, with a full-frame sensor of the Sony a7C, is going to give you a very crystal clear image that fills the entire frame. Now, all I need is the impossible in Pittsburgh, for the sun to come out so we can go outside and take excellent macro photos with our TT Artisan 40 millimeter F2.8 lens. With spring right around the corner, now is a great time to talk about the four awesome build qualities of this lens. Number one, this lens weighs in at a whopping 371 grams, or roughly 13 ounces. It is another lightweight, budget-friendly lens that you can put onto your travel camera, which means once it's attached, it's not barrel heavy, and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag, the weight of this lens is a great find. The second thing that I love about this lens is that it has an f2.8. And more important than that, it comes with 11 blades of aperture. That's right, 11 blades of aperture. And when you're making those micro focuses at a short and shallow distance, those 11 blades create a bokeh that I find to be superior, and I really enjoyed it. Number three. The focusing ring itself offers a lot of resistance, which I at first didn't like, but the more I was doing fine adjustments, I really enjoyed it because I could grab it with my hand and just feel that I wanted to just make small minor adjustments to find that shallow depth of field. And the longer I used it, the more I loved the resistance of the focusing ring. Number four. I like that when you focus down to that one-to-one -one magnification, the barrel kind of protrudes out a little bit. And then it tells you that you are getting closer to that one-to-one -one magnification. Also on the focusing ring, it tells you in meters and feet how close the object is. And this is really helpful if you're a beginner in macro photography to learn where to find your focus and how much magnification you're getting out of the lens. Overall, the build quality of this budget-friendly macro lens is exceptional. What I love about working with the TT Artisan 40mm is that it is a manual lens. 
This is an APS-C lens 40 millimeter that when put onto a full frame camera like the Sony a7C becomes a 60 millimeter lens. There is no autofocus and there is no in-body image stabilization. Working with this lens brought me back to my old school days of working with the Minolta X370. And I had so much fun figuring out the exposure triangle, playing with my apertures, doing the manual focus, all of these thoughts came back into my head, which brought me into the moment of taking the macro photography, and I simply love it. It felt like for all these years, I literally had been driving an automatic car, and with the 40 millimeter TT Artisan, I was now driving a stick shift, and everything was so much more enjoyable because I had a manual lens on my A7C. Now, let's talk about image quality. When it comes to image quality, I want to share with you my favorite picture. I went outside one night and I took one of these lights and just hung it over some flowers. And I captured this image. I was blown away at how clear it was. When you zoom in here on the feet, you can just see the little feet thingies that were on there. And when you zoom into the eyes, you can see the reflection of the eye in the photo. But this photo is not what I really liked. Let's look at the second one. When I put the lens to a one-to-one -one magnification. Yikes. Look at this bug. This is so impressive to me, the TT Artisan lens. When I zoom in on his mouth, ah! I notice right away that something is hanging from the bug's eye. You can see all the hairs, you can see his mouth, you can see my light reflected. This was a really great photo. And we learned right away that with this lens, when an object is in the middle, it is going to be very crystal clear and in sharp. And that is one of the best advantages of this lens. But the lens does have a slight disadvantage. If you look here in the upper left-hand corner, you'll notice that the image begins to vignette just a slightly. And this happened in a lot of my pictures. What I like to say is this is more a nice character trait of the lens that gives it its personality. With 11 blades of aperture, I found the bokeh to be exceptional. There is a nice smooth separation between the subject that is in focus and the background and it is really smooth and buttery. Good job for 11 blades of aperture. It makes the images all the more appealing. I had a great time capturing the world of macro photography with this lens. I captured everything from flowers, to rocks, to fungus, to Legos, to candy, and more. I can honestly say that I can recommend the 40 millimeter TT Artisan F 2.8 macro lens as a great beginner macro lens for those of us at level zero looking to grow your skills in macro photography. For the price of $100, this is a great entry level lens that does what all lenses should in this price range, begin to stimulate your imagination and help you delve deeper into this realm of photography. I absolutely loved it. And if you would like to get it, hit the affiliate link down below and purchase this lens. You will not be sad that you get it, even with its flaws and personality traits. Keep taking pictures, keep exploring photography for all that it has. Stick around for more videos about videos, or maybe just stick around for my final video that I created about one of my favorite drinks. We'll see you guys in the next one.